Hey everybody, me and Buster want to say welcome to Little Cahaba Junkin, where we share a whole lot of junkin and even more Jesus. Enjoy our video. Hey everybody, it's me Kayla Friday and welcome back to our channel here at Little Cahaba Junkin. Today's video, we are featuring our really fun petals from the past, antiques in the garden event. We've been planning for it for a while. Um, and it's just been so fun. I have not filmed my booth today because it is completely ransacked. God is so good. Y'all showed up and showed out and just about bought me out and there's nothing hardly left in it. So I've got to go home and scrounge some stuff. But while I had a little bit of free time, I just kind of wanted to take y'all around and show y'all some of the other amazing boots and vendors. This is something that they do every year in April. And um, it's a two day event on Friday and Saturday. Um, and of course you get to enjoy the beautiful gardens and um, see all their plants and everything like that they have for sale. But um, also just lots of fun craft vendors, um, antique dealers, people with handmade items like soaps and candles, um, all kinds of fun stuff. So it's just a really fun event here in Jemison, Alabama at Petal from the Past and we just love it. So today's the first day, it's Friday. I haven't got a chance to film because it has been wild, but um, we're gonna go and take a look around now. And I do have to show y'all my adorable new hat that I just bought from my friend in there. I will show you her booth, but she makes these adorable hats and it was only $45. Hats like this at Vintage Picking and other big shows are like $125. So when I saw this one for 45, I jerked it up and I'm probably gonna buy another one because y'all know I love a good hat and she is just precious. So I've got to support her business. She's a sweet Christian girl and she makes some adorable stuff. So we'll make sure to go look at her best too in a minute. So they also obviously have all their beautiful flowers out. This is a really good time of year where all the perennials, all the really pretty flowers are blooming and it's just a lot of fun. beautiful beautiful gardens and we are over here at an amazing booth and y'all are gonna love it and i'm gonna let her introduce herself it's a face y'all may recognize Hi, susan jenkins the old so-and-so yes and she has a youtube channel we'll make sure yes. to link it down below and tell us where you're from a little bit about yourself lebanon tennessee i am a retired art teacher and that, so that's why you're so creative and so talented. That, that, well, thank that's, you not, very much. that's not fair. I, I didn't go to art school. Well, look at y'all. She has the most beautiful, beautiful booth. And I had to come early this morning before opening and try to grab some stuff before it got gone. But I had to come back again while I had some free time because she has the sweetest stuff. So y'all make sure to go over to her YouTube channel and check her out. And I know you're gonna love it. Just the sweetest stuff. So we're almost at the end of day one. I will share my booth tomorrow, but I could not stop thinking about this beautiful quilt that I purchased from Susan at the old so-and-so. I had to go back and buy it. It's gonna look perfect with my patriotic decor and it was meant for me. I'm so excited.
so this is <laughs> the end of the first day and I have nothing left literally nothing I didn't even film the booth when we first started because everybody they opened a little bit early and everything everybody just came in and I was so so thankful but this is what it looks like in the aftermath so now I got to go home and find more stuff because I literally have nothing but I'm not complaining praise the Lord okay guys so it's day number two at Petals from the Past it's still early um, but I came in this morning early to bring in more items. So before it opens, I'm gonna kinda show you some items that are in our booth. Um, because yesterday I did not get a chance to film anything in here. It was just a madhouse, which I'm so thankful for, but um, I just kinda wanted to show y'all a little bit of what I brought and um, just kinda how I set it up. I didn't put quite as much effort <laughs> into staging this time um, but I still tried my best to make it look cute but um, I just kind of ran out of time and just worked with what I had so um, Aunt Penny is also on her way she's going to bring some more stuff to stick in but this is what we've got so far so I had a ton of these marquee letters that I ended up bringing because I pretty much have all the letters and numbers that I want I've got several sweet little aprons. And I tried to price everything very, very fair. I think that's why we did so good yesterday because I did price everything really fair and super affordably. So we did really well yesterday. Um, made up some cute little t-shirts. This is my newest design that I created. It says Little Cahaba Junkin', a whole lot of junkin', and even more Jesus. Y'all know that is what our channel is all about. I love these little vintage brooches, and I thought they were so cute. So I bought one of these hats yesterday, and I'm like, that would be so cute stuck on a hat. I even parted with some of my flower frogs because I decided finally that I don't need 25 flower frogs. And I don't know who this man was here in these pictures, but he was so handsome. And I also found a ton of old floral stems that I no longer use, so I decided to bring those and share those with y'all. Love those bags. Several of those at home in my collection, so I decided to part with one. So this is what I have so far. And then Aunt Penny is going to bring some more to finish filling us up. Yeah, lady just says water and call hot tea. Are you talking coffee. about intermittent fasting? Yes, I am. You know we're not we're not supposed to be dieting. No, I'm not. I'm Aunt not. Penny's here and my mama and our new friend. It's been a very busy morning so far, and um, we've met some amazing people from all over the country, and we're so blessed, and we're having a really good time. I also had the pleasure of meeting someone very famous, and someone that's soon to be famous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get the blonde reaction. Hello. Well... My hat's about to fly away. It's been a wild day, ain't it, Penny? Ooh. 
Yes, it has. But we have met so many sweet friends, and we are so thankful for everybody that come to see us. But we gotta get over here and shop before everything gets gone. We ain't got but three more hours. And we left my precious mother in charge of the booth, so y'all pray for her. I hope she's there when I get back and she ain't run for the hills. With the, ba with the, with, money with the bag. She's got the bag of money too. She's liable to just get in her little car and run off to Walmart and get her, get, get her in one her, but get her buggy and load it up. <laughs> but we headed to go shopping and see what we can find. Of course, we had to come back to see Miss Susan <laughs> at the old so and so, and me and Penny both got some stuff. We're gonna tell everybody what we bought. All right, Penny, what'd you get? I got some terracotta pots. I got an old crock. That is so cute. These were like two, two each. I got a. She got another sling blade. Claw. I got a claw. <laughs> <laughs> there got it goes. About one time, me and Janice Rhodes was rolling somebody's house. And a woman from across the road, just some old mean woman, come after us with one of this and scratch Janice Rhodes. And we went back and bought us some eggs and egged her house. <laughs> Mother, I can't put that on the internet. Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> that was back before she met Jesus. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I got me some old yard sticks <laughs> to whip Kayla with. Yes. And I got an old sifter. That's so cute. I love it. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. And then I got this really, really pretty green um, stool, table, bench, bench yeah, whatever. whatever you want to call it. And no, it's fine. Everybody, everybody knows you don't know, don't egg houses no more. Are that you a long time? Are ago. you digging in your bag? No, I'm trying to tuck my shirt in where it won't hang loose. <laughs> And then this is a bulber, is that right, Penny? Yeah, yeah. You put bulbs down, and then another claw. And then I'll show y'all the rest of the stuff. Ooh, Penny, I'm throwing it at her. The rest of the stuff I'll show when I get home. I'm gonna have to edit this heavily. <laughs> Penny thought she was. <laughs> Penny thought she was gonna fit this. <laughs> this is such in her car. <laughs> well guys i am finally back home i got everything packed up at pedals and i only had two little totes for our yard sale that we're going to be having and then a big tote that i'm going to add to etsy um at some point in the near future so thank you all so much for coming and supporting us um I mean, finding good junk is good, it's fun, 
but finding friends is the best thing ever. And just the love of junk and most importantly, the love of Jesus just brings so many of us together. Y'all that I would have never met otherwise, um, probably never would have crossed your path, but y'all, I'm so thankful for everybody that we met. Everybody was so, so sweet, and I just can't thank y'all enough, and my mother just loved meeting all of y'all. I'm so glad y'all got to meet my sweet mama. Um, she wasn't able to come to Petals last year for health reasons, but it did her so good. It did her spirit so good to get out the last two days and just see everybody and meet everybody. And she just loved everyone. And of course, Aunt Penny, she always has a good time too. But I just love y'all so much. And I wanted to just share a few very special things that I um, ended up getting either from my sweet friends that we met or what I purchased. The first thing I want to share with you guys is this adorable Buster Brown box. It was gifted to me by Sweet Miss Susan at the old so-and-so, and y'all, her booth was amazing, Susan. Girl, you got good taste. <laughs> I could have spent everything in her booth, but y'all, look. It's a Buster Brown box. I just love it. She also gave me this sweet little card, the little flash card with F for Friday, and these vintage little letters that spell out Friday. I just love them. They're so sweet. Thank you so much, Susan. I will cherish this forever, and I so enjoy meeting you and shopping your beef, and I hope you come back next year because I will be saving up to to buy some of those awesome things you brought. And your husband was hilarious and the best salesman ever. I mean, honey, he was pushing that stuff. He he knew just what to say to get people to buy stuff and I just loved it. And y'all are an amazing couple and it was so fun to meet y'all. Up next, I have this sweet little girl vase that was given to me by Miss Sheila from The Painted Pig. And um, she has brought me some goodies in the past. She brought me that beautiful prayer journal. And I just love it. I always get compliments on it. But this sweet vase was actually her mother's. And she wanted me to have it. And it just means so much that she wanted to give me something that she treasures. And I will treasure it forever. I always love seeing you, um, Miss Sheila. And thank you for always coming out and supporting us. And for our sweet gift, I love it. And I will definitely cherish it just like you have. Up next, I want to give a shout out to one of the sweetest souls. Her name is Tamara, and she came to see us from West Virginia. Um, her and her son drove, and her son was also a hoot, y'all. He was such a trooper. Um, he just hung right in there with his sweet mama, and she brought us just the sweetest, sweetest stuff. She brought me an adorable butter pat that she knows I love to collect. And y'all, please look at sweet Bibles. Y'all, I just absolutely love them. I am going to leave them just like this and stage them just like this. I love them tied together and it is just perfect. She did so good and um, it was so fun to meet you, Tamara, and I so appreciate your support and this beautiful gift that I will cherish and use, and I love it so much. And tell your son he is a good boy for hanging with you the last several days. I know um, going junkin' may not be a teenager's favorite thing to do, but you're raising a good boy, so I'm so glad that I was able to meet you both. Up next, I have to share this other a beautiful Bible. Y'all know I love vintage Bibles, and my two new friends, and y'all, I'm terrible with names. I'm so sorry, um, but I have our card here, and I think, I'm pretty sure it's Monique, and I can't remember our other friend's name, but if you're watching, I apologize. Comment below and tell me your name, and I will not forget it. It was just wild when y'all came by, but I do know they drove all the way from Louisiana to see us, and they were just the most precious, precious girls. And y'all just brightened our whole, whole day. And they brought me this beautiful Bible. And um, I just, it was so fun to meet y'all. And we joked about Alabama football. Um, I know that there's some LSU fans, but I still love y'all dearly. <laughs> 
um, but they had told us that they loved in our longest yard sale video where Aunt Penny said that she's going across the Tennessee line. She said something about the gaudy orange of the Tennessee volunteers. So, um, I thought, I thought that was hilarious that they remembered that. So thank you girls so much for coming to see us. Y'all were both so sweet and I could just see the love and joy radiating off of y'all and off of y'all's friendship and love for each other. And I appreciate y'all coming to see us so much. Y'all were so sweet and thank you for the Bible. And I will definitely give Aunt Kim her little present and thank you for Aunt Penny's as well. I love y'all and appreciate y'all coming to see us. And I forgot to mention that Tamara also brought Buster Brown a gift. He loves babies. He loves anything stuffed. So he is going to absolutely love it. So as a matter of fact, I'm about to go give it to him just so you can see his reaction when he gets it. See it? See it? <gasps> Miss Tamara brought you a present, Buster. Oh, wait. Isn't that sweet? Look. It is a, it's a little um toadstool, Buster. Do you love it? He said, yes, I love it so much. Say, thank you, Miss Tamara. He said, this is awesome. Do you love it, Butter? Say, yes, thank you so much for my prize, Miss Tamara. I love it. Thank you. You going to play with it now? Okay. Now Buster is digging through the other sacks because he thinks he has more toys. Um, but now I just want to share with you all the things that I actually purchased at Petals. Of course, I had to go see the old so-and-so, Miss Susan, and I bought more terracotta pots because y'all know I don't have any. I don't have any terracotta whatsoever. And I had to get some more. And I also bought these adorable garden tools. I thought they were so stinking cute. I love them. Can never have enough garden tools. And these are truly vintage. They're so cute. Um, and y'all also saw earlier in the video the little green stool or a little side table I bought from her. I think that'll look precious on the porch, staged with terracotta and some plants and some gardening tools. And um, I bought a, a couple of other garden tools. I bought the bulb, um, the bulber, I'm not real sure what to call it, and then another garden rake. But my favorite thing I purchased from her is this absolutely beautiful patriotic red, white, and blue quilt. It's a hand-stitched quilt. It's in overall great condition, and I love it. Y'all know I love decorating for 4th of July for a patriotic Americana decor, and I absolutely love this. I've been on the hunt for a red, white, and blue um quilt and when I saw this I didn't get it at first I could not stop thinking about it so at the end of the day yesterday I went and snagged it and funny story Aunt Kim also <laughs> looked at this quilt so we have very similar taste and I'm just I love this and I'm so glad that you brought it because I love it and I can't wait to use it so y'all saw in the video this adorable hat I've got my hair in a bun right now, so it looks a little sketch, but y'all saw how cute it was. This is from Grace and Grit, and y'all, it is so sweet. It's got the cute little sunflower, the little details with the feathers, and it was adorable. Um, and she's also got it kind of worn on top. I love it. Y'all know I love a good hat, so I had to buy that. And I also bought a candle yesterday but i started burning it last night but it smells fabulous it's from the same company crab apple lane and she also makes these cedarwood and patchouli or she makes all kinds of homemade soaps that are very natural and good for you so i bought the cedarwood and patchouli and i love patchouli she always she said that she always have people Always has people that love it and then people that hate it. And I definitely am a patchouli lover. I think it smells so good. It smells just like a, it smells hippie-esque. Like incense or something. I just love patchouli. And she was so, so sweet. And her mom and dad were actually my booth neighbors. So they were so, so precious. They sat and talked to us all day. And my mom just sat and talked with her mom all day long. And it was so fun. So if you're watching this, thank y'all for being so sweet. 
and I just love you so much, and I'm so glad we got to meet you, and y'all were amazing, but I can't wait to use this because your girl's nasty. I'm a little musty, and I need to go take a shower right now with this Crab Apple Lane Cedarwood Patchouli Soap because I'm hot and sweaty, and I need a refresher. <laughs> But guys, thank y'all so much for watching our video. I hope you enjoyed our little tour of petals and the antiques in the garden show. If you came, we can't thank you enough for coming and supporting us. It, it means so much just having people from around the country coming and telling you um, that they watch your content and that they appreciate your message because at the end of the day, just getting the good news of Jesus Christ out there and to as many people as possible. That's what it's all about. And I'm so glad that our message of goodness and our message of hope can touch so many people. And um, Buster's, Buster has his new toy in there. Tamara, he's, he's, he's beeping on his toy. Um, but I love y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for coming to see us and just being so kind to Aunt Penny and to my mom and just seeing the smiles on their faces means more to me than anything and just seeing how y'all love them too. And it was just so touching to watch and I love you all. Everybody that I met this weekend, it, I'm just so thankful I got to meet you, and I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful week. I hope you enjoy visiting our little slice of heaven, and I love y'all, and remember Jesus loves you too. So until next time, be blessed, and happy junkin'.